So I've had this in my box of bits from AliExpress for quite some time, and I just saw Big Clive do a teardown on one of them. So I thought, let's have a look and see what's inside. So this is a bistable cholesteric display. So what we can do is we can write on it. And then you just hit this button and it clears. So you should like and subscribe. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. But let's, uh, let's pop this open and see if we can uh, work out how it works. But before we do that, a quick shout out to PCBWay. I'm testing out some recent boards for them that came out really nicely. Check out the link in the description. Okay, so it's, uh, it's pretty simple. Um, does actually still work, so that's good. And we can see we have uh, two layers now. Obviously Big Clive took it apart and messed around with the liquid. I think he may have even tasted it. I'm not quite so brave, but there are two layers. So in between these two layers is some uh, some crystals, which are these bistable cholesteric crystals. So in one state they're transparent, and then you apply a quite high voltage, and they will line up. So let's uh, let's see if we can um, measure the actual voltage that's being zapped onto the board. Put it on voltage DC. Yeah, interesting. So it seems like it jumps up to around 30 volts and then drops down again. What I might do is try this on the oscilloscope, see if we can get a, a nice trace of it. Okay, there we go, got a nice capture of it. 26.8 is the peak voltage, so that's pretty good. So. I wonder if we can try um, zapping this just with a power supply and see if it works. I wonder if the actual signal shape even matters. So, still working. Uh, let's just check the polarity. So, I think that was the plus and that was the minus. And I've got my little power supply here. So, let's plug this in. Okay, so I've got my output set to 30 volts. Let's, uh, let's draw some stuff. Let's clear these cables out of the way. Draw a bunch of random squiggles. Now in theory, if we just touch these two here, it should clear. It works! So that was the... So plus is this one, negative is this one. 30 volts, gone! Amazing! Well, that's, that's pretty cool. I mean, these are very simple, but um, pretty fun. I wonder how much if we do it the other way around, or do we actually break it? So let's do let's do plus here and minus here, and see what happens. Ooh, we've got a spark, but it still cleared it. Ooh, maybe I shouldn't do that. Not a good idea, Chris. Not a good idea. So uh, yeah, that way around works nicely. Probably should have disconnected the battery before messing around like this, but uh, nothing's blown up, so that's completely fine, isn't it? Anyway, fun bit of kit. I wonder if I can... Um, can I repair this? So, pretty simple construction, but uh, interesting nonetheless. So if you want to see the um, reverse engineering of this, just hop over to Big Clive's channel. He's uh, He is the reverse engineering king, and he's done quite a good job of that, so I won't, I won't duplicate his efforts. Um, let's stick this back on, and there we go. It's as if we were never here. Um, the perfect crime. So yeah, that works really well. So like and subscribe. Have I broken it? No, oh, no. How did I manage to break it? Well, it was very cheap, so it doesn't really matter. Ooh. Well, it is broken, but I have my manual solution. I can just do it manually. I might try and have a look at this PCB, see if I've uh, see if I can fix it. But I probably blew it up 
when I um, put the reverse voltage on. So, a bit silly on my side, but never mind. So there we can clear our screen. There we go. Perfect.